Look! These are lesser demons. These are the bosses I was fighting earlier. Look how fast I beat them now. Good lord. A combination of the Crystal Grim and leveling up. It is just that kick ass. Yeah. No chance. Actually, this is only also the only game this is the only area of the game where we actually fight these enemies. I have no idea what the hell these guys are supposed to be. And him right here. And it transforms into that for some reason. I have no idea what the fuck that's all about. It only does that when it dies. Unless it transforms into that when it's still alive. I have no idea why. What the hell is that thing supposed to be? Seriously, it's kind of creepy. And that was just an e I think it was either a max potion or a hot elixir that we just equipped. That actually, you know, that fully restores your life. Not your MP, though. It just restores your life. Alright, now we can continue on over here to the right. Oh, hey! You guys can all go to hell. The fuck was that that you just did? You know, again, that's another thing. I've been playing this game for so many times, but there's so many attentions to detail that there's still shit that I still haven't seen yet. So when I'm asking if something, what the hell is that thing doing, it's probably legitimate because I've never seen it before, most likely. I need you guys to all get out of my way. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You like it when I stab you like that. Ow. Oh, uh, yeah, those imps. Those black little demons that were following me, they're known as imps, and they're annoying in groups. The problem with imps is... when one of them managed to touch you, it causes you to go to... like, in a, like somewhat berserk mode, and you constantly swing your weapon without you controlling it, and it's annoying. Especially in when we get to the Reverse World Chapel. Actually, I think the boss room is over there to the right, but not yet. Okay, that leads to the Reverse World Chapel. We're not going there just yet. Not yet. Not yet. I think this is a save room. Yeah, it's a save room. Thought so. Thought so. Could he use it? Could he use it? Could he use it? I know, Sword Card, you're eager for blood, but we're not just there yet. I know we're blown through this castle faster than we are the regular castle, but everything's upside down, goddammit, and that kind of disorients me. Actually, I think there's a room missed up there. Hold on. I know, I know, I know. I don't want to waste... I hate wasting time, too. But we gotta make sure we get a lot of rooms. Actually, yeah, okay, I thought it was so. We can go through that pillar. And what is the point of there? Oh, yeah, this is actually. You get a life well. Okay, that's a good thing actually we came back here. <laughs> I'm actually wondering, because uh, I'm not using a, a GameCube controller. Like, like I did for my uh, other Let's Plays. With, um, back when I did my first Let's Plays with Sonic the Hedgehog, you can actually hear all the button mashing I was doing with the GameCube controller. I wonder if you guys can hear the, all the movements I'm making with the Saturn controller. It's definitely a little more quiet. Because its design is so... sleek. I wouldn't say exactly sleek, but still. Okay, here we are. Boss of the Reverse Alchemy, Alchemy Laboratory. And it's probably the most disturbing boss in the game. Besides Legion, you know. Old dead bodies and shit. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Beelzebub. Not Satan himself, but Lord of the Flies. He is a giant, decaying corpse that controls flies, and he has maggots all over his body. I actually think he's capable of cursing me upon touch, but I didn't. But enough games, I'm just going to end his life now because he's wrapped up in chains and he looks pretty pathetic. And there go his legs, arms, and torsos, and god damn it, those insects are huge. And now he's surrounding himself with a lot of insects. Oh god, I just, damn it, I just poisoned myself. I think the flies are deadly on touch. Ow! 
And look at all the slowdown it's causing. The thing that's the annoying thing about Beelzebub is that uh He summons a lot of insects. The insects are annoying. They go down easily, but they're annoying because there's so many of them. Good lord, look how many insects are there. If I can just wing smash through your head. Yeah, that's awesome. But we're not done yet. I would soul steal you, but you're not in a position where I can do that easily. And I just knocked his head off. So what does that leave? The other way. Yeah. <laughs> just his intestines. That's gross. Much better. Alright, well, that was Beelzebub. He didn't leave us any Dracula piece, so yes, he was, again, another optional boss. And we just got a ring. What does it do? I wonder. It doesn't do anything, as far as I know. Well... I can't read Japanese. <laughs> Alright, so we killed Beelzebub, we're done with the Reverse Alchemy Laboratory, so now we can get out of here. Get out of the way. Oh, look, those are the imps I was talking about. They won't be much of an annoyance here. Oh, okay, yes, they are going to be, okay. Shouldn't open my mouth so soon. Ah, get out of the way. Yeah, I think that was the shaman shield that we just picked up. I'm not going to use it, though, because actually, after I got the a la card shield, there is no better shield. You know, it's a matter of opinion, but still. No, okay, there we go. Look, the imp got me, and now I can't do anything. Because it's going to. Look, I just did four holy waters by myself, and I didn't do that. I was not under no control under that. I hope these things don't instantly respawn. That would be annoying. No. Gravity boots, goddammit. I'm not out of magic. Ugh. I hate this. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say that's enough. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. There's no need to be here anymore. Alright, I know there's a safe room here, but we're not gonna use it. Let's just keep going. I think we might do the... No, actually. No, actually, I think we should do the Royal Chap... The Reverse Royal Chapel next. Seeing that it's so close by, and it's one of the only areas we didn't do yet, exactly. And... Ah, fuck. Fucking... Yeah, Invisible Butterfly. I thought so. Those things are defensible, and they won't appear unless they actually hit you, which is kind of unfair. But, again, I guess that's their attempt at making the game challenging. Uh, okay, uh, what connects the Alchemy? Oh, yeah, the Marble Gallery. Okay, well... Actually, we've already been through here, so there's no need to this. Oh, I actually got hit by the damn skeleton. Okay, well... Okay, we can just go to the right here, and we can just go to the Reverse Royal Chapel. We might as well. It's so close by. Uh, there was that blue door that we ignored earlier. If you were, uh, if you noticed that I just ignored the blue door at all. And yeah, these these uh, the skull butterflies actually drop uh, luck potions, which you know if you want you can uh, abuse and drink if you want to. If you're looking for rare item drops. And I just dropped my holy water, didn't I? Well, I don't, really don't need it at this point. <sighs> hate when I fucking do that. Uh, oh. No, wait, we're going right away. I think we're here. What am I doing? Okay, I'd rather take the action the cubic zirconium. I don't know why I did that. 
Oh, okay, got the holy water back. Huh, I just like having the holy water equipped. I just, I just do. Even when I had the chrysogram, which pretty much makes everything obsolete, I just like having the holy water equipped. Like some kind of paranoia. Okay, thank God, we got the lost paintings music back again. I'll take this music piece over Final Takana any day. Alright, so, the Reverse Royal Chapel. It's actually not much different here than, uh, the regular chapel. But we are introduced to... Sniper of Goths. They have different names in each incarnation of Dracula, of Castlevania. I have no idea why. And we just killed that guy. No problem. Actually, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take the bottom route here. In, like, in terms of map progression. Because these corners are a bitch to cover. Like, they're real picky. We just got a diamond, too. Cool. That, that sells for a lot of money for the librarian, by the way. In case you never need to go back. So, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna cover this bottom area first, and then I'm gonna transform into the bat. And wing smash my way through the top of the upside-down stairs. Of course, all this slowdown is really bringing things to a halt. It's another fire boomerang. I think that's what it was. I'm never going to use that. Okay, so we covered the bottom area. Now we can wing smash our way up to the top. And that should handle the area in terms of map coverage. Okay, I'm going to assume that's the trick. So let's wing smash our way back down. Come on, I can't hit anybody. There we go. Come on. There we go. Awesome. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Oh, fuck me. Then we get the poltergeist, his cousin. Doesn't wield swords, it wields spears and shields. Now we're going to wing smash back to that door that I hit earlier. This is actually a warp room. That I uh, is it a warp room actually? Hold on, I want to make sure I'm right. Is it a warp room? Or is it the Coliseum? Yeah, it's the reverse Coliseum. Uh, yeah, you know what? I want to go here first. I mean, why not? It's a small area, so I can I can get there here pretty quickly. Ah, fuck me. M Minotaur's axe has a hitbox in its own. I mean, it should. It's a weapon. <laughs> This is also a great musical piece, I love too. And hold on, the music stopped. Does that mean a boss? Does it mean a boss? Does it mean a boss? Does it does it, does it really? Oh, skeletons. Awesome. That's not different in any way. What the fuck? The coffins are spinning. What does this mean? <gasps> it's my partners from Castlevania 3. That's Grant, and that's Trevor Belmont, and that's Cypher. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Yeah, but actually you know, these aren't the real people. Damn it! Get out of the way! You're not the real people! Yeah, bitches, now Grant, you're all alone. Now succumb to me. <laughs> Kneel before Zod. You refuse? Then you shall die. Yeah, it's a nice little throwback to Castlevania 3. Doesn't leave you any Dracula pieces, so they're completely optional. Like this whole Colosseum. I don't know why I did that, actually, to be honest. Look at all these werewolves. They've been demoted. <laughs> May I remind you that a minotaur and a werewolf were bosses <laughs> in in the first castle. Now I'm fighting like five of them at once. Yeah, they've been demoted. And those snake enemies have actually been in older Castlevanias, but the way they die here, I just love. Fiery explosion of death, and it's awesome to watch. Actually, the boss fight is the only reason why we actually came into the Coliseum. I don't think there's no reason to be here anymore. 